Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Let's continue with space exploration. Uh, we're in... We're still tidying up and pushing things through for the end game, basically. Uh, I've still got a number of items I need to update to go up through the space elevator through the new system. Uh, which is going to take up a lot less space and need a lot, uh, much fewer trains. Uh, I do have something in mind to replace the fluids. Uh, it's going to be a little bit more dense as well. And we've got some bottlenecks to push. And we've been playing around with spaceships just for fun. D-Hose, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, so what's our next goal right now? What do we want to tweak, fix, or work on? I definitely want to go drop this off back where it belongs. Uh, it'd be good if I knew where that was. Energy control unit. Storage. Hagen only. H Hagen orbit, to be precise. Uh, this must be it. There we go. And that train is over here. This one, on the other hand, is empty. Cool. So that should be the last of it. And I think the drop-off is over here. Oh yeah, that's the same stop. That was already on the schedule. Cool, cool, cool. That's one more that we can get rid of. Now we've got biomatter, lithium, chloride, rare metals, quartz, uh, silicon. I'd like to put those two together. How about we do silicon, quartz, uh, lithium sulfide, and lithium in one place? Any reason we shouldn't put them up here? Don't think so. Um, yeah, let's let's do that. We haven't named or taken up these spaces yet. Cool, cool, cool. All right. So, how about? Uh, silicon, quartz, uh, lithium chloride, and lithium. I'm, supp I'm surprised we need to bring lithium chloride up the elevator, but there it is. It goes straight into genetic data. Okay. Uh, and we're going to put our filters, quartz, silicon, uh, lithium chloride, and lithium itself. Copy, paste, flip. And that's what these stations are going to be. I guess I won't bother naming them just yet. It'll make it a little bit easier. Um, now where's that train? Actually, we'll use the trains that already have the schedules for these things. Should be able to eyeball a couple of them. That's ice. Oh, there's lithium. Alright. No schedule for you. Please go drop off at lithium, etc. And uh, where are we? Where are we keeping lithium right now? Oh, there it is. No, that's not lithium. Lithium, lithium. There it is. Okay. Wait till full or inactive, I guess. Actually, wasn't there some way that I came up with to make sure it would do the last stop 
and then never again. Hmm. Oh, I know. Wait till item count. Lithium. Greater than zero and inactivity. That should do it. Alright. So go drop off the lithium over here. We will have to rebalance it uh, when the last train load comes in and drops it off in a imbalanced way. Uh, we're going to want this to be the name of our channel. And there's no technical reason to do this, but just to keep track of where things are more easily, uh, I think I will mirror the drop-off for all four quarters of this block downstairs. So right down about here. is where we're we gonna put this one what the f what why is the copy paste like this I literally just selected this cut paste okay now delete all that paste I don't get it and then over here, one, two, three, four. Uh, we don't want to switch on our requests for these just yet, but we're looking for quartz, silicon, lithium chloride, and lithium. Uh, and I guess two train loads of each. Looks like they're all stack size 50. And we can just switch that on when we're ready. Uh, train, train limit 1 is correct for that one. And this needs to be set to this channel. Cool, cool, cool. Incognito today? Wait, what? Mr. Streamer, you don't have a category selected. Oops, thank you. Uh, category. Factorio. I also noticed I had Factorio tags for Slay the Spy for two days and no one commented. Alpha Ananas, welcome in. On Twitch, indeed, indeed. Alright, uh, so next is... Whichever one we see randomly first, or we'll do a search for, say, silicon. There's silicon. Alright, no schedule. Uh, drop off over here, wait till empty. Pick up silicon. Wait for inactivity and item count. Silicon greater than zero. Next is uh, lithium chloride and quartz, I think. Are they over here? There's lithium chloride and there's quartz. Boop. Doop a doop. Lithium chloride. Wait till inactivity and item count. And quartz. Wait till empty. Pick up quartz. Wait for inactivity and item count. Cool. 
So that should get all of the old uh, storage systems items moved with no further action from us. Including the dregs that don't make up quite one more train load. Oh, there's traffic. I see. Sneaky. Alright. Um, I guess we just wait until that finishes. Uh, we should probably add some tags. We've done the station name. We've done the channel name. We haven't done these station names, and I'm not going to uh, just yet, because by clicking on the existent stations, uh, the extant stations, they have the same name as what we want these ones to have. Uh, and what I'd been doing in the past... What the f... Uh, what? Oh... What? Uh, oh. Hold on. Can we do, like, item count anything or something with these? There's full empty, specific item count, but we can't do, like, uh, any item count greater than zero. That's unfortunate. Yeah, as far as I know, there's no way to say... If a second has passed and you've got something, anything, in the train. Wait, can we say not empty? Um, I don't think so. There's passenger present, passenger not present, but there aren't... Not empty, not full, for example. Whatever. Um, yeah, I guess... I hope it's just the one. Silic uh, Quartz doesn't have a name here. This one does. Uh, what was the other thing we were moving? And this one does. And I think... What was... Uh, I wish I hadn't changed the tags already. Where's the lithium? Has it already been moved? No, I think we'd see we'd we'd see a train just sitting here if that were the case, right? No, it'd be sitting at the pickup. Um kinda like this. Silicon rare, that's rare metals. Good grief, what have I done? Um but yeah, the whole reason I wasn't putting the names of the stations over here just yet. was so that there wouldn't be duplicate station names for these vanilla scheduled trains. Uh, so let's give this one a name. What was it supposed to be picking up, actually? Was it Quartz? Uh, where are you? Quartz? Alright. Go pick up... That doesn't narrow it down very much. Oh, yes it does. Why can't I add the station that way? There we go. Uh, what was the thing again? Wait for inactivity and item count greater than zero. Alright. I so better make sure that actually works. We have all four resources. Fantastic. So the other three should be fine. You're an LTN train, right? Uh, no. This is the situation I was trying to avoid before. God damn it. Alright, fine. We'll do what we've been doing... Give this one a different name. Old this. Uh, 
Okay. There we go. So hopefully that will get all of this stuff moved with no further action. Haven, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hello there, just listening in today, working from the office. I do like me a good listen from some streams. Can relate. That one's a bit imbalanced. Does that mean we've already run out of the lithium? Um, is this the one? No. Is this the one? Yes. Yes, yes we have. Lithium's kind of hard to spot. Alright, so you're retired. Cool, cool, cool. Um, how about we use you... For the new schedule. Go to... This thing. And wait. Just to keep it simple, we will copy past our schedule from one of the other ones and change it so that we know we're being consistent. Less likely to make a mistake. We have a lot of old blocks that need decon. Let's get the decon train involved. Please wait here for inactivity. And we've already removed the spaceship clamps. Nothing bad's going to happen. All right, so that's all basically empty already. Including the antimatter. Cool. Not even going to waste scarcely more than a drop. Um, I think those construction bots are going to make their way over here once we get rid of the roboports. Nope, they're just going to float there forever, aren't they? Nope, nope, we're good. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, let's pick this up. If we have room. And all of this. And all of that. Wait. No, not there, please. Did I just... No, we're good. Did not mess up the rail block. All right. I wonder how much room we've got left in our decon train right now. Probably not enough to decon two of these at once. Definitely not. Okay. That's fine. Just go back and empty out. Uh, now where's our train? There she blows. Manual. Copy paste schedule, and then, and then we just swap out these for the correct train stop. Empty and full. Up the elevator, go to depot. Uh, go drop off whatever it was. Down the elevator, go to depot, go pick up whatever's waiting here, or just wait for something to be dropped into you directly. Cool, cool, cool. If we had the version whereby uh, loaders could just go straight into trains, I would probably just not even have bulk rail loaders right here. Or maybe even no bulk rail unloaders either for this one. Just direct from train to train. Now, I want the LTN train to be able to leave immediately. Uh, but yeah, that should be our schedule. Uh, 
Wait, does this thing have... It's missing batteries. Alright, let's go fix it. Uh, can I get some more, please? Also... Oh boy. I should probably fix these. Um, do I right-click on them? Yeah, I do. Wait, why are the ones that are empty not stacking? But, and why can't I... But what? Okay, very confused. So you're empty, you're empty, and you're not stacking. Weird. Very weird. Uh, I don't... I don't really want to deal with this. Oh no. Oops. That's the last thing I wanted to do. That is the last button I wanted to press. In that time, place, and order. Uh, where are our batteries? Give me some more, please. Yoink. Uh... What? 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 What are you doing here? Did I put you... Th Did I put you up to this? There's a temp stop. Maybe I did. That's unexpected. Oh, I guess I was gonna... Yeah, I was gonna take this stuff downstairs. The last of the copper core frags that were going... That were coming back via orbit. That actually does make sense. Why are we dipping down to 20... Less than 30 UPS again? Are we researching? Yeah, we are. That might have something to do with it. Oops. Arcospheres... Uh, I can't tell if they're okay based on the numbers, but the motion is encouraging. Wait, where are we going? Let's go straight to the copper drop-off. And we'll just insert this copper, these copper core frags straight into the system. Park about here, please. Yoink. 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 Oops. And furthermore, yoink. Cool. Nice and clean. Uh, while we're doing taxi stuff, bring me over here, please. Viking Gamer, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for the four months. Much appreciated. And welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Have I, like, left something nasty running in the background or something? I'm, I'm sure our UPS is significantly lower than last time, and I did just reboot and there shouldn't be much else going on except the browser which is CPU limited hmm get out of here steam I doubt that's gonna make that much of a difference uh, anyway this train needs some batteries for the sprint cool 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 Back to the mall we go. And how are we doing upstairs? I, I imagine 
Our other three trains are done moving stuff. One, uh, two, and I think this is number three. Fantastic. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so we should be able to just switch this on. The LTN requests. And anything that there's uh, less than a train load of upstairs, it'll request another train load. But I think... I'm pretty sure we've already got plenty of all of these things. In fact, silicon is so full... Oh, wow, that's surprisingly imbalanced. Uh, I'd better go there and rebalance it, actually. Alright. Why are we... Um, sure. I guess we'll drop off Vit core frags on the way. Vit core frags go here. Wait for full and empty. Uh, why is Vitamelange so quiet? No, uh, there's, there's some processing happening. Maybe it's fine. I'm sure we'll be informed of any shortages in due time. And regular core frags can go here. Alright, up the elevator please. And we'll go personally back over... Oh, it's right here. I'll just jump out. Alright. Even distro... To the rescue. There we go. Ideally, there should be exactly... X number of train loads of whatever resource here, but I'm not going to fuss about it too much right now. Um, as long as they're balanced, if we're only ever taking from here with long trains, or if we must take stuff away with short trains, we'll do something like this. Okay. And we need to set some station names here. What are you doing? Oh, that's an LTN train. Is that the only one? Yeah. Okay, quartz. Provider. Uh, silicon. Where are you going? That's fine. Silicon provider. Uh, that one's already correct. And you're just going back to depot now, right? Yes. Lithium provider. Come to think of it. Uh, no, that's still more than a train load. I guess we could bump up the requests a little bit. Especially if we're only doing one train, um, we're not going to get in trouble because of uh, LTN not knowing that the train is on its way. You can go for three train loads of each. Should be able to fit six. And that'll trigger a delivery for lithium. So we can confirm that's working. Cool, cool, cool. Next, 
Uh, we need to tag it. What order were they in? Quads? Silicon. Lith chloride. And finally, lithium. And last but not least, downstairs. Quartz. Silicon. There's our transfer. Uh, lithium chloride. And lithium. Cool. Four more items down. We've got like... 8, 12, 14... 17... We already did these. Uh, not counting the ones that go downstairs. We've got like 20 to go. Cool, cool, cool. Why don't we put uranium up here, so one more green thing. And I don't really have anything else to group with it, so I guess we'll just put the refined concrete iron beams. Iron beams? Iron beams go directly into... Uh, nothing besides. It's just prod bonuses for stuff that we make with the wall, uh, mall. Did gun turrets go directly into a science? Or indirectly? Can we not do that on the ground? Uh, now I'm curious, where are we... I think iron beams are just going to the mall. Yeah. I don't think we need to bring iron beams up the elevator anymore. Um, I don't care if we miss out on prod bonuses for stuff that's just... Uh, getting... It's not going into science. It's not indefinite, constant throughput. It's just... Uh, it's just going into mall stuff. And we've got an infinite supply of iron. It's not on the same scale. So we might just... I don't know. Uh, I guess we'll take iron straight to the mall. There should only be one iron, uh, iron beam train, that is. And we'll just use the auto crafter at the mall to make iron beams or something. We want to cut down on our infrastructure a bit. Alright, go here, wait till empty. Go... Uh, here? Wait till inactivity and... Item count iron beam. What? God damn it. There we go. Inactivity iron beam. Greater than zero. And it's just gonna bounce off that instantly. But yeah, there'll be no more coming up the elevator, because that was the only train bringing them up the elevator. So all of that is just going to get dumped into the mall. And... We'll add Iron Beam to the list of stuff that we make here. Don't really have... Oh, here we are. We're already doing it! 
Oh my god. I mean, that's only if we go down to a, less than a hundred. And presumably we're requesting them up here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we may or may not need more storage. Come to think of it, is there a mod that tells us how many, how many tiles, how many inventory spaces of empty storage we've got left? That would be useful. There's something to order a reorganize of all of this random storage would be nice as well. It'd also be nice if the most storage dense layout wasn't using small chests so that we have this just absolute mess of icons. Anyway, all right, so Iron Beam is out of there. Uh, is this regular concrete? Refined concrete. Refined concrete goes directly into... Nothing. Really? Why did I bring it up the elevator? I mean, I guess... I do have to remember that we didn't take these resources for granted from day one. There, there, there is that. Uh, or it's probably a pain to make it upstairs, isn't it? It needs water, regular concrete, and iron beam. Regular concrete... Uh, goes into... Any, uh, there we go. Regular concrete goes straight into compressive strength data. I think we already updated regular concrete. Yeah, it's over here. Um, but refined concrete? Space elevator, black or light reinforced plate, refined hazard concrete, and that's it. So, it's really just an ingredient for a couple of things we make in the mall. But I would need, I would need a dedicated machine uh, to make the concrete. Unless we use something like this system to bring various items up to the mall that are just too kind of miscellaneous to bother with in the main system, just like this. You know, we probably need it so rarely, I could just bring it in manually even. Either or. All right, so you're gonna you're gonna keep dropping this off at the mall as well. Inactivity and refined concrete. They're going away fast. All right, so uh, I know for a fact we need uranium fuel cells to drop directly into some of the science packs. Interstellar void probes, asteroid belt probes, uh, and that's it actually. Huh, I could have sworn there was a data card. Maybe it was in the last version that I was playing, SE.5 with no K2. I could be wrong. It might have just been U-235. Wait, what was missing over here? Material testing packs? Are we not keeping up? That wouldn't be that surprising, I guess. Um, Are we failing to produce them fast enough? Or we probably need more trains bringing them up. 
Yeah, there's already like... Th there's three trains moving testing packs at the moment. And it's still not keeping up. Jeez. I could put one extra train on each of these schedules. So we would, we would have six trains bringing up the testing packs. And they would just sit in the vanilla depots when they're not being used. Speaking of which, we'll definitely be able to cut down on all these uh, vanilla scheduled depots. That'll be nice. Try playing ATO mod pack next. Australian tax office? Oh crap, that reminds me. Oh no. Oh, I gotta do that this month. All the overhauls, I see, I see. Welcome in DD, by the way. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Are we actually, like... Okay, this is missing testing packs, but we've got more than a trainload of data here. So it's not looking that bad. Perhaps. How fast is this? Oh man, I just realized... we. Uh, there's so much more. There's so much more than I thought that needs to be redesigned. I wish I had been what seemed over the top at the time and designed all these in the editor to be like three per second final build tier nine modules and just lined everything up so that we can just uh, put better modules in and then we're done with the upgrades. Maybe I won't overhaul the entire base before we finish this playthrough. Could easily see it going to next year at that rate. Okay. Um, I kind of... I kind of want an excuse for a couple of these schedules to have testing packs as well. Since we might have be having trouble keeping up with them. And I'd much prefer to have just one train scheduled for four items each, like for each quarter, if possible. In any case, for some specific resource that's really fast, I'd rather spread it across multiple trains as well. Multiple schedules. Uh, so what have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six... We could put those six items here and testing pack, testing pack. That seems like a pretty good idea, honestly. So let's say we put Holmium Cable here. Holmium Solenoid right about here. Uh, gears. Wait, I should double check as we go. I, I know for a fact with a lot of these things that we definitely use them directly in science, but let's be a little bit pedantic and just make sure. Solenoid. Uh. Wait, solenoids? Oh, that's right. Need those for mole things. Dynamic emitters. Yeah, that happens in space. That's all we need to know. If there's anything that can only happen in space, and these can be prod moduled, we're building them downstairs almost always. Okay. So, iron gear. What does iron gear go into? Is this another one like the iron beams? Which we don't actually need up the elevator? I think it might be. 
Then again, I don't really mind uh, continuing to have them brought up the elevator if we just slide them into one of these blocks. Hmm. Yeah, iron gear we don't actually need that way. Steel gear? Doesn't actually get used in science? Oh, hold on. Space... Space belts can be made downstairs. But... I mean, we have to make them for science anyway. And I'm already making them up here. Since we need to put them in to make the space science packs. Do they stack to 100? They do. I guess it would be more stack efficient to bring space transport belts up the elevator. Yeah. Yeah, this was... I think this was a mistake. But... I gotta draw the line somewhere or we'll be here forever. Um, we should pick up the rest of these reagents. Provide stack threshold one. I guess there's no demand for vitalic reagent right now. That's weird. Do we have room for it over here? Uh, we do. Alright, let's borrow this train. Let's go over here. Wait for inactivity. Go over here. Wait for empty. And then come back to the mall. And then what's our last resource left over here? Bunch of bioelectric data. I'm sure that won't be as difficult to waste. All right. All good. There we go. And finally deke on this block. Where does bioelectric data go? Is this it? No. Bioelectric data. It's right over here. Uh, I'm guessing it goes into catalogs. Catalog three. Um, it's probably not quite balanced. Well, it definitely won't be quite balanced. If we do it like this. Why don't we borrow this train again? Go here, wait till full. And then... Go here, wait till empty. And then come back. And I imagine there's only like a couple of train loads or less here. So we'll just do that one more time, that'll get rid of it. Okay. What shall we do for a novelty spaceship today? Is this empty? Basically, yes. Fantastic. Wait for inactive. Tidy all of this up. And get rid of this extra bit of rail as well.
Off goes the ship. Can we fix this random wire? That's better. That's a lot of empty blocks. Mars, uh, War Striker, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. I got K2 working with S, E, and B, Z. It appears I'm playing the alphabet. Indeed, indeed. Alphabet soup. Delicious. Um... What are we researching? Rocket reusability. It only uses Astro 1. So as much as a million is a large number, it's not the grandest test of our science throughput. ATO got SEK2BZ and plus 248K. What is plus 248K? Is this train stuck? No, it's fine. It's just a little bit slow being loaded this way. Cool, cool, cool. Really quite happy with the layout of these, uh... Oh, we're saturated on blanks. Nice. Very cool. Why are you taking so long to fill up, though? It's like five containers here. I could always, like, increase the provide threshold, so this has to be a bit more full before the train bothers to come. Um, I don't know how much of a problem that really is. I guess the, when things are in full swing, it might be. Adds insane endgame trains and bots, maglev, crazy mod, plenty of alternative things, nice. Okay, uh, so what's our next goal? Are you, oh, you're still filling up. The Bokios, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Do you make a big base with trains on each planet? No, no, we do not. Uh, here is a good example. Um, pretty much all of my outposts look about the same, so even this whether it's this one that's literally right next door, or one that's interstellar. Uh, so we've got a space elevator. Trains bring things up the elevator. Drop off into bot network. Uh, spaceships land here, and bots fill the spaceship with shortest paths that we can manage. It's actually split into two bot networks, uh, partly so that we can exploit the actually only 47 bots here for some reason. Uh, partly so that we can exploit the 50 bot limit where the bots don't crash, which is per robot network. But more importantly, perhaps, uh, when the bots are loading the ship, they tend to try to fill up one container at a time, which means if this is all one robot network, the bots are going to be like picking up from here and putting stuff over here in the ship. And bots are exponentially faster the shorter the distance that they're covering for moving items. Uh, partly because like it takes literally no time, like one tick if that, for them to pick something up or drop it. Um, they just keep flying until their battery charge runs out and they go to recharge. Uh, the battery charge doesn't run out any faster if they're, like, bouncing back and forth. There's no calculation for, like, how much energy they would have to put into accelerating or anything. They just kind of vibrate uh, very rapidly on the spot. Um, we might actually get a look, of, a look at that right about here. Um, but yeah, by splitting it into two robot networks, we can make the maximum distance that the bots will travel to drop something off much shorter. Uh, but anyway, it is a bot system to drop stuff into the spaceship. Spaceship goes back home. And 
because we have antimatter ships, and because core fragment stack size is small, and because bringing them through the space elevator is actually too much to handle eventually, uh, we actually drop it right next to the requester chests uh, that go straight into the uh, the pulverizers. Use ships for main transport? Yes. Yeah. Um, they cost a chunk of UPS, but theoretically, there's just no limit to how much throughput you can have with spaceships. Not like individual spaceships, but, you know, you can just keep spamming them. Um, but yeah. They made the stack sizes of core fragments... I think they went from 100 down to 20, if I'm not mistaken. It was at least 50 down to 20 uh, from the last version I played. Uh, and I said, challenge accepted. We're still going to take core fragments back home. Because I want the outposts to be simple and clean and consistent. And not have just an absolute mess of stuff that we don't even remember. Kind of like, where is that one outpost that we still haven't cleaned up? Uh, I don't know if it's tagged here or not. Oh, I know how to find it. Uh, let's see. Argo Rocket Silo Entity. All surfaces. All surfaces. There we go. Budkai, that's the one. Yeah, like... I'd literally forgotten this even existed. Um, and we've got, like, hundreds of machines here of infrastructure. Uh, this was from when we were using cargo rockets to send this stuff back. I mean, you could also do a lot of processing on planet, which would give you more stack efficiency um, to send stuff back. But, like... Even though we're not doing that here, it's a pretty good example of exactly the kind of interplanetary sprawl I don't want. Um, where we, we have a an outpost that we don't even remember sitting here using up God knows how many machines. Um, I'm sure they cost a lot less UPS while they're sitting idle, but still... It's not free. What does the path from mining to the main base look like? Uh, okay, so... So there is... Cordrill. Goes straight into train stops. Trains... Uh, we've got a very simple... Well, simple if you understand... Two uh, bi-directional trains, um, but we've got a very simple train network here because because we're only doing core fragments and the core drills give diminishing returns. Uh, each individual station gets slower and slower uh, the more drills that we add, so you don't really have to stress about traffic with these things. Uh, so yeah, we've got like a very very spartan kind of track layout here uh trains come down the elevator they wait here until one of these triggers uh train limit greater than zero once there's uh, a decent amount of core frags like significantly more than one train load because if this ever fills up entirely the belt sizes differences will imbalance them a bit uh but yeah train will take this Straight up the elevator, into the drop-off, and there's the bots going very, very quickly to fill this stuff up. You'll see how... I think they usually fill this up last. You'll end up seeing just how fast they can be. Yeah. That's at 30 UPS, by the way. Orders of magnitude faster than belts. Uh, under ideal circumstances. 
Once the bots have settled and all of this is full and blah blah blah, there's a countdown. And we send this back. Um, we've got a local count of how many ships are coming to this specific outpost. We've got a global count of how many ships are on the way back with X, Y, or Z type of core fragment. So that we don't just send ships to pick up 10 million shiploads full of vitamelange and then they can't move while they're waiting to drop that stuff off. Uh, but yeah, this is going to go back to Hagen, land there directly. On the memory cell, we've got a offset for uh, anchor to target right clamp based on which resource we're dropping off. Uh, and it's waiting its turn right now to drop off barrel because uh, these two are sufficiently full. We don't want it to land when there isn't room to comfortably empty the ship all at once. Why don't you extract the ore-only fragments? Uh, fragments are infinite, that's why. I don't have to run around making temporary mines over and over again. Uh, anything but Naquium. And Naquium lasts a very, very long time. Uh, it, in fact, I'm, I'm reasonably sure uh, that the, like, three or four Naquium mines that we've made the bigger ones anyway, since the earlier stuff. It's probably going to be enough for the rest of the playthrough. Veldak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Two hours till triple F, yes indeed. I understand, do you do this from the very beginning or only at a later stage? Uh, for the core frags? Welcome in Pospec. Bets on Triple F more trains or not? Uh, who knows? What is this mess? What is that doing in there? I guess it's fine. The fragments, yeah. Uh, I pretty much start exploiting core fragments as soon as, as soon as I unlock them. I will, I will from time to time use regular mines uh, while we're bootstrapping. But in the long run, especially the late game, I, I really don't want to be running around building mines over and over again. Bot went boom, indeed. Rip bot, thank you for your service. Um, is this empty? Oh, we never had more than one train load here? Okay, that... Oh, we do, but it's... Why are you like this? I'm just going to fly over there and rebalance this thing. Okay, pick uh, dollies... That should just about do it. And go drop this off. Oh, that's not balanced either. Hmm. How fast is this? 5.6, yeah, that's fine. All right. It's close enough anyway. As long as it doesn't get jammed, it's fine. Alright, I feel like we should research something more demanding than this. Um, What should we research? This needs Bio 4, Deep Science 3, and Matter Science 2. What's the most demanding infinite research? Energy 4, Deep Space 2, Matter 2. There's nothing that, like, demands the top tiers of all researchers, is there? 
There's actually infinite energy weapon damage. Material 3. Material 1. Oh. Material 4. Deep 4. Yeah, there's nothing that needs, like, all four of the tier four science packs or anything, or five. Hmm. Well, let's get some more mining prod. SC2 Reefer, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Spaceship hull. Uh, spaceship needs everything but bio for. That makes sense, I guess. All right, let, let, let's, let's do some of that after mining prod and see when it falls over. If it falls over. I wonder if we could run the entire base on matter at this point. We tried that once. Uh, it, it didn't work out as well as we hoped. How much... What's, what's our power? 16 gigawatt at the moment. Mm. Oh yeah, we should do the fully automated... That, that's definitely our goal for today. Um, get fully automated tier 9 modules going. For that, we need to bring up all three of these. Uh, tier 8 speed, tier 7 prod, and tier 6 efficiency. Uh, we do already have a build for that here, but that was before we came up with our new... our new system. Um, how do we not have any of these saturated except for efficiency by now, though? How How is Vita not good? Never enough Vita. We did have all of this saturated a while ago. We managed to turn that around. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Are we actually bottlenecked at our outposts at this point? Moss Garden has only 44,000, so yes. 201k at Bombato, so probably not. Why is Moss Garden so empty? 263,000 at Picard. Okay, so I guess we put more spaceships into the system? We've got one, two blocks not processing Vidomelange at the moment. Yeah, um, I guess, I guess we're adding some spaceships. Don't know how I have almost 20k channel points and have never thought to check the follow button. Oh no. Owen, thank you for the follow. Maybe you was just vibing. The thing is, more spaceships means less UPS, but... It's not like I... expected... necessarily to be able to keep up with everything that we were ramping up to with the number of ships that we had. I'm pretty sure we don't have any... I say we take off and nuke the entire site I say we take orbit. off and nuke the entire site from orbit. Veldak, Mr. JJ. Uh, two nukes sure. coming up. Oh, we didn't remove those ghosts. 
There we go. Alright, let's nuke this stuff. One... I say we take off and nuke the entire site from orbit. Glacier Wolf would also like a nuke. It's the only way to be sure. Alright. Make it three. We can nuke again, indeed, indeed. Oops, sorry, didn't really... I say we take off and nuke the entire site from orbit. It's the only way to be sure. It's the only way to be sure. Onion would also like a nuke. I say we take off and nuke okay, the I, I gotta start checking these off. I'm gonna lose track. It's the only way to be sure. Where the heck is my reward queue? There we go. Mr. JJ, Veldak. This one's for Glacier Wolf. And then we've got Thonian and Jacobaz. Fantastic. Uh, did we already nuke this? It looks like it. We nuked in the middle. This'll do. And Jacobaz. I must provide a message for this reward. You'd better believe it. How about up here? Get out of here, iron... and iron gears. Oh, this is name and base. Okay. And gold. Oh, what? Cool, cool, cool. Let me just clear out these ghosts. And... I guess we'll do bottom of the elevator once more. How about here? And the fifth is away, indeed. Okay. Are we good? I think we're good. Now then. Uh, we need to add some spaceships, don't we? I think this little temporary stop that we made before is going to work okay. Except that it doesn't have antimatter being put into the ships for starters. Wait, don't we have a berth for these? Is this it? It looks a bit thin. Uh, where's our spaceship blueprint? It's been a minute. I don't think it's in this book. Uh... I honestly don't know where our blueprint is. Phonestra ship dispatch. Whoa, that's not it. Thought that was a blueprint book. Uh, is, it, is it in here? I think it was called Phonestra dispatch. Oh my god. Phonestra bounce. That's it. And this was gonna be the ships at one point. Here it is, Core Egg Hauler. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, yeah, there's no room for this here. Where are we going to build it? If we start with this, we'll just have to get some antimatter down this way. Not in basic blocks. There we go. Core egg holder. And put the pipes over here. How many tiles is this? Eleven. 
Boo. Oh, that fits pretty well. Give me a three. Uh, we need a pump, actually. So how about another three? And then a pump. And don't forget the corner. So what number are we up to? Four egg Paula. Here I thought we'd be able to reduce the number of four egg haulers. 46. This one's 47. Four egg hauler, 47. Why is antimatter not connected? Oh, because we pumped it all this way? That makes sense. There we go. Agent 47, indeed. Alright, so we've got this little contraption to reset the memory cell and then put this onto it. Uh, it's just going to mean it goes to Hagen and lands at one of the valid drop-offs. And then once it lands there, uh, it'll get given a job. So we'll bump it up to 50 and see what happens, I guess. It's already got more than enough. Antimatter to make it over there. But do I really want it to need to wait for antimatter? Downstairs? Nah. Alright, so we'll leave that there until it's ready to go. We were tr playing around with making some fast ships just for fun. Uh, can't remember what happened to the most recent one. Wigglebot, Sickle... What? Oh, I was going to say that's not a ship. Yeah, I think, I think we retired the last attempt at a fast ship. I'm getting distracted. I wanted to do modules. Oh yeah, and then I was wondering why we don't have a billion modules yet. Vitalic epoxy. Oh, what is this? And why is there a million... Oh, I see. That one train is scheduled to come over here, isn't it? And there was some one-off from when we transferred things over. Is this why we haven't been making prods lately? How many prods are in the mall? How many modules? 984, 1.5k, 1.5k. That is not a small number. How much does it take to fill a short train? 2.5k. Alright. Um, yeah, I definitely want to redo this build. I'm sure it's going to be resource bottlenecked anyway, but it would be nice if it wasn't insert a bottlenecked, I guess. So we want just a bunch of LTN stops uh, for these final products. We're not going to bother making more sixes. I mean, efficiency sixes are going upstairs, but we're not going to have extra stops for these two sixes, I think. And... We're not going to need vanilla schedules to bring 
all of these individual items downstairs. What should I change first? Um, we've got eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen items being taken down the elevator. Scrap is going to need more throughput than other things. A lot more throughput. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Um, so 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We could do it all in one of the new blocks with scrap on each corner. And see if that's enough to keep up with the scrap. I kind of want to keep these in basically the same spot. Which means transferring it over is going to be a bit of a pain. Um, why don't we just make the drop off downstairs first. Wait, how many of these things only have one destination downstairs? We could, like, direct belt them. Nah, it's gonna be messy. I'm at the stage of launching into space. Do you think I should start working on the core fragments right away? Or extract the ore first? Uh, probably ore at that stage. It really depends on your environment. Um, if you're playing K2 SE, liquid rocket fuel is a lot more of a pain to make. So it's probably more worthwhile making more stack dense stuff before you send it through the cargo rockets, at least for now. Okay. Uh, where do I want to put this drop off? Probably about here. Seems good. And where did I put that blueprint? Uh, I believe it was in here. Yeah, this is the one. This is the downstairs equivalent of our drop-off build upstairs. Although I haven't updated it yet to add the constant combinators. We added though. Oh, I think there was also a bit of a difference with the rail layout. Maybe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there was. But yeah, the constant combinators are just so that we know whether or not a signal is actually being received. Uh... We definitely didn't update the signals here yet. Might be a bit easier if I update that downstairs first. Um, downstairs. Uh, in the editor, rather. Uh, Kale, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right. Wait, was there still rail there? There he is. Um, all right, that looks fine. And then this goes here. And I don't have an example. Uh, what if we copy from this? where the signals are supposed to go. And we're going to get rid of these. And on the 
other side as well. Was the transmitter in the same spot? I think so. Yeah. I just haven't... Oh, I did add the uh, constant combinator to it. I just forgot to move the signals. Okay, so the signals are actually just as close to the corners as they can get. That should be pretty easy. Alright, instruction train, if you please. Evil Plot, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so signals go here and here. And this should be a chain signal. We do not want the trains stopping in this block. They will cause a traffic jam. Alright, so we're going to go with scrap. 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 And scrap. Uh, we've got three types of green catalog, four types of orange catalog. Where is it? Two of these. We're definitely going to group these together in one quarter. And then I guess... About something like this. Catalog. What? Can I click? Pretty please. There we there we go. Catalog two. Oh wait, it's called like broad catalog. What, why are you like this? Oh my god. There we go. And comprehensive catalog. And then... For the two purple ones? Uh, is it energy one and two? Or... I think it's energy one and two. Yes it is. Okay, so how about ener energy one, energy two, maybe machine learning data, uh, material one. to what why it's so fiddly one two three four and we've got two slots left 
That leaves electric, uh, bioelectric data and quantum processor. And that'll fit pretty snugly. Bioelectric data, quantum processor. Is your main planet still Nalvis? Nope. That's the one we keep nuking. We did change that later in the game. More train related. I've created prediction. More trains in triple F. Yes or no? Uh, who knows? We'll see. Oh, we need even more laps from our train to get this done. All right. So, meanwhile, upstairs we've got, oh, it's actually downstairs. It's a lot of catalogs. What the heck is this doing here? If question mark greater than 5k, I never updated that. Why not? Why is this functional? I, I must have left it like that for a reason. That's what I'll pretend. Anyway, uh, we have... I think I can find those trains by clicking over here. Yeah. We've got dedicated trains for each of those items over here. We're going to be able to make this so much smaller. All right, we'll start with moving you over here. What are you? Catalog three. Go forth and empty. Wait. I need to put some train, uh, train stop names here first. Just go park here. And you do the same. With a temp stop. Wait till empty. Uh, where are the other... Number one. Wait till empty. And... Number two. Wait till empty. Okay, need to go back downstairs. Is there a way to download a save game somewhere? Uh, there is. I haven't updated in a bit, but you can find it on the Discord. Um, just search the Blueprints channel. 55, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How fast has mining prod been going? I, I haven't actually been paying attention. Oh, it's already stuck. We are missing Deep Space 3. Deep Space 3 is looking for Tesseracts. Tesseracts are looking for Arcosphere Zeta. And Arcospheres are just not being balanced fast enough, I guess. We could go get some more Arcospheres. Why not? Tis a trivial matter. We'll do another 500 launches. Where have we been with the Arcospheres? Uh, I vaguely remember we've been to like... Stardust, Grape Shot... Like, probably all of these. Haunted Hallows, Felheim, Godash. Arcospheres. Felheim, Godash, Grape Shot, Haunted Hallows, Stardust. Okay, cool. So next is, I don't know, Shattered Skies. I can uh, make this ship travel via Foenestra, but honestly, can't be bothered. It's got more than enough uh, fuel to go anywhere. 
I mean, it's a semi-automatic process anyway. What is this? Moon orbit times negative one? What? Moon orbit 1180, that's home. Times negative one. Oh, it pulses it into the memory cell. That's what this does. It instantly goes to each greater than zero. Yeah, this is just kind of a slightly weirdly shaped uh, pulse generator. This outputs positive. This multiplies by a negative one. And this arrives one tick later. Okay. Yeah, so we do have some we do have a memory cell set up so that we can do this. Um So we're gonna go to Foenestra. Actually, okay, what's the distance to like Dark Flare? I'm guessing it's just a bit further than if we go somewhere via Foenestra. Dark Flare is uh, 42k. That's actually, like, double. Alright, fine. Let's go to Phonestra instead. Um, or rather, we'll bounce off of Phonestra and go to Shattered Skies because I feel like it. Which is Asteroid Field 1129. Uh, not that one. So we're going to program in field 1129, put that on the memory cell, set direct destination to Foenestra, and when distance signal equals negative one, it means we've arrived. It'll let this information go through to the console, and that'll change the destination. We've got 500 Arcosphere Collectors. We've got 500 Space Probe Rockets. We've got bots. We've got Logibots. We've got platforms, inserters. Uh, should have everything we need to make our little temp uh, outpost and launch 500 Collectors today. Lord Seru, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Thoughts on elevated rails? Very cool. Very cool indeed. Alright, we're off to launch the Arcospheres. The wonderful Arcospheres of 500. Um, and ETA... What, what's our top speed in this thing? Should only be like seven minutes game time or something like that. As long as we're over 200 speed, which it looks like we easily are. Good, good, good. All right. Uh, what, what else are we doing? That's right. I had to come here. Hold on. I had to come here personally because... What? Oh, it keeps resorting it. So right here is always a loco that doesn't have that does have things in it. Maybe this will be easier to clean up than I thought. Is that all of them? Oh, thank goodness. Um, honestly, I, I don't want these locomotives that, that can't stack. Get them out of here. Alright. Actually, I might need some of this stuff right now. I remember near 50? Where did our uh, UPS go? I honestly don't know. Um, part of it is that we're doing science again, but like... Yeah, it's... It's worse than expected at the moment. 
All right, so we need to add our filters here. We want material one. Catalog. Uh, material two. Catalog. Broad material catalog. Uh, bioelectric data and scrap. Bioelectric. Copy, paste, flip. And... I might just... Uh, I guess we'll take this train as... The first one here is going to be the one that's going to take that schedule. One more lap, please. 30 to 35 is not bad for this point. Yeah, there's a lot going on. Damaged things can't stack? They're not damaged, though. They've just had stuff in their... Um, th they've had equipment. But that's why they're tainted. It's weird. And then quantum and then scrap. Quantum processor. And then copy paste flip. Seems good. Um, it's kind of awkward doing it this way around. Okay, so this drop-off is going to be called Material Cat 1, 2, uh, 3, no, not 3. It was bioelectric data, wasn't it? And scrap. And we're going to copy that name for our channel. And then we need to... It's going to be tricky making the drop-off up here as well. Especially because we kind of need this working for scrap the whole time. I really want this stuff to be here, though. Well, we're just going to have to get in the way of things, I guess. Mm. Can I come up with some kind of temporary solution? I guess we've got a bunch of vacant spots. And this can become the scrap. Like over here. Wait, what? Oh, it's the other way around. Um, awkward. We could use this block, this this quarter, or this eighth. Okay. So you're going to be requesting scrap. And you're going to be scrap station. And... We're going to have to change the name of this one. How many station uh, trains are on the station? Four. Still waiting for the triple F that states that signals and train stops now use the same tile as the rail. So you can put the multi-layer station just as they post it. I don't entirely follow, but that's fine. All right, so there should be no trains on that schedule because there was another copy over here. Cool, cool, cool. Why are you saying you're not saying no path? Fantastic. That's fine. Should probably make this like deep underground belts at the moment. Um. Okay, why don't I just ride this upstairs? 
and then I'll just tell it to go to mall 2 so it doesn't stutter through the space elevator. Assuming that's the right stop, actually. What, what seems to be the problem? Yeah, this is exactly what I was worried about. Okay, uh, please park over here. Oh, over here should be fine. They showed a rail stacker with rails perfectly next to each other. With no space in between. Oh. With the new curves, but that is useless unless we can fit stations and signals between them. I see. Alright. Wait, where are we? Oh, that's not quite what I had in mind, but it's probably okay. Uh, we need the construction train, actually. Please park over here for the moment. going to be down here, isn't it? Okay. Um, that's a lot of scrap that's still here. But I guess... Yeah, we just want to turn off this drop-off. Uh, and that can have the same name. Until we empty it. All right. What the? The construction train is empty. God damn it. I forgot I switched this off because the bots got messed up or something. All right, time to hydrate. Give me a minute. Are we still loading the train? I guess so. Alright, well, once it comes back with the deep space belts, I guess I could just send it now. We're only looking for deep space, but it'll be done in a sec. And... Um, what train did I borrow? This one. I need to move all the old stuff into where the new stuff is. Should probably go through with updating this station. Okay. So we've got the station name downstairs for the first set. Um... So the one that was Catalog 1, it was Catalog 1, wasn't it? I think so. Well, it was Catalog 1 or 2 in any case. Oops. Oops. So you're going to... Which one's the drop-off? Okay, the, the one further in is the pickup. You're going to 
pick up until inactivity and item count. Catalog one greater than zero. And then go down the space elevator. And then drop it off over here. And wait till empty. And you should be able to do that right now, yes. Uh, wait, where is it? What? No. What? Why are you like this? God damn it. How... How was that one second of inactivity? Oh, don't tell me. It was on... It was still on either or, not and. Yeah. Alright, I just have to manually get it out of there. Very, very carefully. So that we don't have a catastrophe. Manual. I just need to creep it into the roundabout. Uh... And then we should have no trains coming to kill us. And then go back here, please. Ooh, that's scary. Change the or to an and? Yes, exactly. Alright, so that'll repeat until it takes the last train load of this stuff. And I might just write it downstairs and copy the schedule to the other one and change it slightly. So same thing as we've been doing, we just have to go through the space elevator for this one. To move all the old stuff automatically. Now where's that ship? Oh, it's already here. Anchor to Shattered Skies. And there's plenty of room near zero zero. Alright, where's that blueprint? That's actually a pretty good question. Um... Somewhere or other, we have a blueprint for... for making the temp outpost that launches all the Arcospheres. Um, anyone remember where it is? It's been a while. Hmm. What if I search Arco Arcospheres? No, that's Arcosphere folding. Oh, I'm going to be upset if I can't find it. Um, K2SE. Is it in here? That's a weird ship. No... Did I, did I just leave it way down here somewhere? That's going to be hard to find. No, surely not. I need a blueprint searcher. SEK2 spaceships, we already looked. Um... I don't think it was under train blocks, but I but actually I put a lot of stuff under train blocks that doesn't quite make sense. Where is it? It wouldn't be under dispatch. 
wouldn't be under version 2 of Dispatch. Uh, it wouldn't be this, it wouldn't be that. Outpost Orbital... No. Where on earth could it be? Hmm. Can I search silo? Don't think so. It's not gonna like find everything with a chest if I search chest, no. Hmm. Oh, there it is. 50, Ar 50 by Arco launches. Why is it here? Of all places. Let's at least put it in with spaceships. Or something. Okay. Uh, this goes here. Fantastic. Oh, wow, this is bigger than I thought it was. It's actually encroaching on some of the, uh, some of the asteroid surfaces here. Well, that's actually going to take a little while. Let's come back to it. Have you considered properly sorting your blueprints? Uh, how many years do you think I have? Okay, um, let's put this on manual, copy the schedule, and we're just going to change catalog 1 to catalog 2. Uh, broad, I think this is it. It's kind of hard to see. Yeah, broad catalog, wait for inactivity. Wait for item count. Broad catalog. And then drop off at the same spot. If you start right now and don't stop until the expansion launches, you'll surely get there halfway. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Alright, so catalog one and two for material should all find their way here. Um, are you on manual? We should probably do the same thing for Cat 3. Was this Cat 3? I think it was. Comprehensive catalog. I, why don't I see comprehensive? It is called comprehensive catalog, right? Yeah. Or how about I search material? There we go. Wait for inactivity and item count. Catalog three. Uh, and the drop off is going to be. What is it? Catalog three, four, quantum scrap. Quantum scrap. Catalog 3, and Catalog 4. And that's going to be this channel name. Okay. So your drop-off is this one. Alright, off you go. And there might be another train coming in with Catalog 4. Fantastic. All right, your manual, copy that, change it to catalog four, and drop off here. Inactivity and item count, catalog four, greater than zero, off you go. 
Cool. That's not so hard. So all the catalog, uh, all the orange catalogs uh, from upstairs that are meant to come downstairs. Oh crap, I should have turned off the LTN requests for those by now. Oh no, where's the other one? Uh, one, two, three, four. Cool, cool, cool. We probably have an extra train load of one or two of these. I'm, I'm sure it's fine. That's not going to cost thousands upon thousands of resources in the short term. Alright. Still need to do the same thing for Bio 133, Energy 1 and 2, Machine... Uh, machine learning data, bioelectric data, good lord. Where is scrap going right now? I think scrap just goes straight to here. Maybe scrap should be a special case because... There's going to be so much throughput of it when we're doing material science. I would say... There's no prod bonuses anyway, but if there were, I would say maybe we should just do this in space. Um, but the reason we bring the scrap down the elevator is it's actually more stack efficient this way. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really want this scrap having to come all the way up here. Although it is kind of a straight run from the space elevator. But do we really want that unnecessary step for something that's high throughput? Like very high throughput. I could always just direct, like, do a couple of scrap processing builds, like, here and here, and direct belt the scrap away from this. That seems fine. Oh, we still haven't updated this? No, I think we did, I just haven't drained out the old one yet. Yeah. Yeah. And this is actually using the rare metals, I just don't care anymore. Okay, cool. Uh, how long till this empties out? About a million years? Cool, cool, cool. Uh, actually, this is a vanilla stop and we're no longer taking this stuff up with vanilla stops. That might have something to do with it. So I just need to make this an LTN stop with a higher priority. Uh, all right. Let's get rid of that. Oh, I guess it's a bit easier if I do it this way. And just need to remember to connect the wire. Where's, where's our construction train? Once this gets swapped out. Cool. This has no name. This has no name. Oops. Uh, rough data storage sub. Provider. There we go. Don't really care if the old stop has a weird name. That's a bit more descriptive. And we've killed the... We have not killed the requester for these, really? 
Really, really? That's gonna... Well, I was gonna say that's gonna take a while to drain out, but blank data cards are kind of demanding. So maybe not that long. Okay. Oh yeah, uh, new ship should be more than ready to go. Fantastic. Launch. And let's get ready to add another one. Where's the blueprint for these again? Uh, Fionestra Bounce. There it is. And by the time we check on that, should be good to go. Speaking of checking on things, Shattered Skies... Um, where did I put that blueprint again? Here it is. Beautiful. Can I, like, pan that around? Yeah, there we go. What is that? It looks so weird. Looking at it via the map and we didn't have vision. And... Was there like a button we had to press to get it all started? Or does it just go as soon as it's fully loaded? Um... Yeah, here it is. We just get rid of these once everything's in place, which it looks like... It's already done. Cool, cool, cool. 50 simulta- what the f- why? What- how? How did- how did this one get a giant head start? And this one as well? Okay. I see how it is. What are all these set to? Whitelist. So just turning that off isn't going to help anything. No, oh, wait. Whitelist? Oh yeah, whitelist and the constant combinator is negative. So all of these have to be filled up before we get a positive value. Previous use? No, we just built this. Bruh. I don't... I don't get it. silos or reused ones. No, we just built these. Oh, that's loud. So the trick is uh, basically we have requested chests. They are asking for stack size 1 items so the bots are precise for once. Uh, let's say we're going star probe and probe rock uh, space probe rocket. Okay. So we have these requests on all these chests. Let's say we're trying to just launch two simultaneously. Uh, we read from the chests. And when we read two and two of these, uh, we're going to get 
a signal of uh, on the green wire. The signal that we get. Oh, why did I do that? Uh, the signal that we get is read contents. Oh, the, the stuff isn't here right now. Um, can I just quickly put in a aggregate passive provider and a logibot? There we go. Okay, so bot fills out this exactly because it's stack size one. Uh, we have signals of two and two for each of these. And we don't want our filter inserter to insert things until all of the chests are completely full for that item type. Uh, there's a way we can do this for multiple resources at the same time. And that is just positive... You need a positive value, not zero or negative, for the filter to be set by set filters. So we just go constant combinator, and say we want one more of these before it kicks in. Um, that's set to negative two. And star probe, negative two. So then if we wanted to add one more of these to the system, once they're all filled up, those uh, whitelist filters kick in. So I'm not exactly sure how... Wait, no, I think I do know. I think I know the answer. I think I just realized. I think what's happening when it messes things up a little bit at first... Uh, is because the wire connections, depending on the order that the bots build things, uh, some of the wire connections aren't there yet. So they're not getting like the constant combinator or something? So if we want everything to launch simultaneously, we just, I don't know. We put down a blueprint that doesn't include the chests until the end or something? Whatever. It's not that big of a deal. Anyway, um, how many... We've launched 150 already. We only got 12 Argospheres. It's not going to, like, fail to launch the last several because of this, is it? If I left it to its devices? Whatever, I'm just going to get rid of the, uh... No, wait. No, some of it is going to get stuck, I think, if, if we don't synchronize it. Could have it where the items aren't available till you're ready, yeah. I can't do set requests and read contents of the chests at the same time, unfortunately. Bruh, stop it. Give me that blueprint. It's just a quicker, easier way to put that constant combinator setting back. What? Media, what is in the way? God damn it. Why you gotta be this way? Okay. So negative a million. Both of those signals are blocked. It's so loud. Oh look, most of them are in sync. Ha ha, funny. I guess if we also added some circuitry like we did down here, where it keeps resetting a timer whenever one of these uh, 
insert his swing. We could guarantee it. But I didn't want to be that much of a busybody for this one. 45 minutes till triple F, indeed. Rec Hadsel and Wigo, welcome in, by the way. Two blueprints, the second one having the chest, yeah. We would have to structure the first one in such a way where... Uh, I think we already did. Where all of the inserters are connected to the constant combinator. Uh, even without the blue chests being extant. Yeah, if we make a version of this that doesn't have the blue chests, and then put the blue chests down at the end, it should be fine. Whatever, I'm just going to leave it running and find out if it doesn't leave... end up with a bunch of, like, mismatched um, probe rockets and arcosphere collectors so it doesn't, like, fully automatically do the 500 launches. Mining Prod 15 has been chugging along. I think. When did it stop? Uh, maybe this is where it stopped, actually. Uh, yeah, science has been stopped for 8.1 thousand ticks, which is like three or four minutes. Okay. And it's always Deep Space 3, which is going to be Tesseracts. Which is going to be Arcosphere, which is why we're making more Arcospheres. I, I don't understand though how, how we've got so many Arcospheres and it still struggles to keep up with this. Maybe we literally need more than one machine of each... Re oh god, I don't want to think about that. I don't want to need more than one Arcosphere folding recipe of each type to keep up with the demand for Arcosphere Zeta, for example. What else outputs Zeta? This one. Which is not being triggered because why? We have no Zetas, but the calculation based on the error comparison thinks outputting Zeta is worse than doing nothing. Zeta and Lambda. We've probably got a million Lambdas. We've got 38 Lambdas, yeah. What if... Uh, I think we need, like, multiple rule sets. Like, it's not just... For example... How big would the error be if we did or didn't run this recipe? But, like... Are we very low on Zetas, even if we've got tons of Lambdas? Are we very low on Zetas? Are we very low on Lambdas? If either of these are true, run this. And nuts to the knock on effects. Hmm. We could always just have more, like, sets of arcospheres. Like, like, more cells doing a bunch of arcosphere stuff in parallel. Teague, welcome in. Not up to Arcos yet, but I thought you could re-roll them into each other. Yeah, but it's complicated. Um, there's a bunch of recipes where you turn 
two arbitrary sets of arcospheres into two other arbitrary sets of arcospheres. And then there's a bunch of, there's a pair of four to fours that swap between these sets. Yeah, so it's a little bit tricky, to say the least. Alright, um... Did we already move all these orange catalogs? Looks like we did. Nice, that didn't take very long. Um, so next we need to do machine learning data. Uh, let's see. Scrap catalog one to machine learning data. Scrap energy catalog one, energy catalog two. And MLD. And that's going to be our channel name. Uh, and then we take the train that does machine learning data. Tell it to drop off over here. Wait till empty. Then go up the elevator. And go pick up machine learning data, wait till inactive, and item count greater than zero. Uh, and then go down the elevator. Uh... Down the elevator, drop off, up the elevator, pick up. It seems like it would work itself out anyway, based on what station is inaccessible. But I'd rather get that right. And then before we start churning out more, disable the LTN drop off. So that should get all of this stuff downstairs. Quick resource question. Okie dokie. Can you set recipes with circuits if you use a mod called uh, Crafting Combinator? Or you just control which machine is enabled? Yes. Um, I'm controlling it via the outputs for Arcospheres, uh, just because it's more responsive that way. Uh, like, recipe takes a bunch of time, especially these two. Very, very slow. Um, so instead we just have the outputs waiting at all times and then the output inserters uh, kick in when we want more of these. Okay. Uh, we need to do our filters here. Machine learning data. There we go. Uh, what else do we have here? Catalog two. Catalog one. And scrap. Copy, paste, flip. Fantastic. Now we just need to do basically the same thing with energy catalog one and two. Well, these basic matter stabilizer. I thought we make those on the ground. Basic matter stabilizer. No, no, we do not. Uh, hold on, wrong thingamajig. Yeah, we do. Is this a leftover from when I did it wrong? No, this is... Yeah, no, this is to bring... I'm so confused. 
Oh no, that's right. We Oh. Yeah, we did the meta stabilizer build upstairs before I realized. Uh, I think this actually can be prodded. Basic meta... St no, you can't. Okay. You can... That's weird. You can't prod the basic meta stabilizer, but you can prod the... Matter stabilizer, the more advanced one. Hmm. No wonder I ended up building this over here. Um, but we've made so few matter stabilizers that I don't care that we're not prodding it. We basically basically just order a few of these on demand. We're not using them with constant throughput because I'm not paying Naquitite. Uh, to swap resources around. Hoping it's just that it's hidden until... Researching Necrotype processing, but so far I haven't seen any. Oh, you will. I mean, you can search for it, right? Uh... No, I think it's... Where do we, where do we set this option? Zone discovery? Yeah, no, we can't actually search for Nacrotite. But you'll see it. it. It'll just show up in the resources for certain zones. Alright, what was I doing? Energy cap 2 or 1? Whichever one was over here. And I want you to drop that off over here, please. And I'll borrow the schedule of that other train when it comes back. What's going on here? Oh. Oh, right, I wanted to synchronize it again. Cool, cool, cool. So we're good? They're all ready to go? Fantastic. Boom. Didn't realize it was going to be that loud. Beautiful. So yeah, I guess we just have to wait longer... ...before we get rid of those signals the first time we want to launch, if we want them to be in sync. And since there's 250 left here, it should get everything done. Cool, cool, cool. Uber Skiff, welcome in. Why should it be in sync? Uh, two reasons. Because it's cool. Very important. Uh, but also, I don't want to end up with, like, one Arcosphere Collector here, and then, like, one Space Probe Rocket here at the end. If it looks good, it has an additional 5% chance. Indeed, indeed. This is a nice sound. Sorry, I was a little bit slow on the volume dial. It's a bit loud. Yeah, my bad. Welcome in, Saturn. Um, but yeah, that'll keep going until... Until we have, what, like 30? Less than 30 Arcospheres from this lot, I think. Anyway, it all helps. All right, we've got our trains waiting, fantastic. 
manual schedule for you. Copy paste and change it to. Uh, I guess you were catalog. I thought you were catalog two. I guess not. Catalog two must be here somewhere. I, I'm confused. Where is catalog two? There. Are, that's catalog one. What? Oh, this is broad. I'm blind. Okay, good talk. Okay, so... Energy catalog... Two. Is this it? I think so. It's actually kind of hard to see. Okay. Uh, this... Wait for inactivity. Wait for item count. Catalog 2. And... Drop off is the same. Alright, that should be fine. Go forth. Why can't I reach this? Oh, right. Gotta be, gotta use the navsat to get around that. Anyway, uh, we need to move catalog one as well. Catalog eins. Fast train is fast. And there should be another train waiting in a sec. So we'll just do the copy paste edit thing again. Wait, I think I can still just click. No? No. I can't still shift click for the schedule that we just copied. Here it comes. Alright, so you actually are catalog one. Energy ca why does... I don't know. I don't know, man. Wait, it's not copying the schedule to this one. Oh, I think I see why. If I jump from navsat to not navsat, it's like jumping to a different character. Okay. Catalog one. Energy. Uh, this one? Is that right? I think so. Wait for inactive. Wait for item count. And go. Alright, so that should get all of that old stuff moved. Wait, no, I forgot. Oh god, oh no. Uh, please stop sending more of it. Probably already had another train load delivered here. Uh, maybe not, because that was not supposed to be there. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so that is... We haven't done bio, we haven't done bioelectric data, we haven't done quantum processes. Let's do quantum processes. Right about here, please. Wait, did I just send it here or here? 
Well, it's going to be easy to fix. I think I sent it here. Where? Where is it? Oh, here it comes. Fantastic. Alright, so quantum processes. Did I already do the filter? I did. And Tastabulous. Uh, this is the drop off. And. Why do so many things show up if I search quantum? What? I, whatever. Quantum processor, this one. Wait for inactive, wait for item count. Quantum processor greater than zero. And that should be enough to move quantum processors from the old build. Next is bioelectric data. And where's our train? There it is. That one goes on this side. I guess I'll copy this schedule. Activity and item. Fantastic. That should do it. And we want... I think I already did this time. We want to make sure we're not asking for more of it. Can you show me a junction real quick? Uh, like a train junction? Like, like one of these? So basically, what's going on here is, uh, uh, alright, let me start really basic and we'll build up from there. Um, we're going to do a roundabout. Smallest one we can. And we've got rails. Uh, pretty close together. Is that the middle? I think it is. Uh, I'm confused. Send help. It goes there, apparently. Oh no, there's a reason they're a little bit further apart. It's not quite the smallest roundabout possible. But this will suffice for our example. Okay. So, really, really simple rail junction. Uh, let's say we're doing left-hand drive, because that's what I'm used to. Well, let's... Let's... Let's do it wrong first. Now, why is this wrong? Uh, the reason this is wrong is because with regular rail signals, it means the train is allowed to stop in the sector that's in front of it. We don't want that for intersections. Uh, in fact, it's best to use chain signals as a rule and regular signals are the exception. 
when you're absolutely sure it's okay for a train to be stopped in a sector, then you can use a rail signal uh, for the sector that's in front of it. Um, if a train sitting here is not going to cause traffic problems, uh, or most of the time won't cause traffic problems, it's not going to cause an actual jam, uh, then it's fine to use a regular rail signal. Chain signal means that the train has to be able to go all the way through the sector that's in front of it. So here we're saying uh, the train is allowed to be stopped in this sector, uh, but not in this sector. Uh, now let's get a little bit more complicated. Uh, maybe you don't want trains that are going straight through to have to go through the roundabout. You can literally just add rails like this. Uh, that'll work. That's no problem. The only problem with it uh, is if a train is going through this way, for example, uh, it's actually going to stop a train from coming through here because all of this in the middle is the same sector. Trains are not allowed to occupy... No, no two trains are allowed to occupy one sector at the same time. Uh, so from here, it really is just a matter of cutting it up into as many sectors as you would prefer. Um, it is going to be more UPS uh, expensive if you use more signals than you arguably need but you're going to get more you're going to get better like granularity of like uh whether the trains are allowed to you know you, you could have a train pass through here while a train passes through here or passes through here and so on that's not a problem right now uh with the way it's set up at the moment um is this actually bad If a train was going this way, the train wouldn't be able to go this way. That's all fine. Mm -mm. Does this cause any uh, any weight conditions on trains that would be unnecessary or undesirable? You know, other than, like, because the tail of the train that's making a left turn is still here, then the next train isn't allowed to pass through yet, for example. I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, you basically just cut it up into sectors until, until you're satisfied. Left-hand drive versus right-hand drive has much different signaling? How so? 16 minutes, indeed. Uh, as for two-way, um, it's kind of intimidating at first, but really you just have to look at... Like, what, if you mouse over the rail signals, it'll tell you this is allowing a train to go this way, but not this way, right? So if we put another chain signal here, uh, it means trains are allowed to go through here in either direction. Um, and you just have to be careful thinking through where do you want the trains to be allowed to go, uh, and where do you want them to be allowed to stop? Those are the two important questions. Uh, and if you only use chain signals, like literally never use a regular rail signal, um, trains will still be allowed to stop for the express purpose of stopping at a train stop. Um, but other than that, they're not allowed to stop here. So it'd, it'd be far from ideal, but you could literally just do an entire... Um, rail network with chain signals and nothing else. 
you could maybe start with that and then play with it and see what see what difference it makes. They go outside, not the inside? Well, yeah, but is, is that all? I like them on the inside. I thought you meant there was some advantage, like, other than fitting the signals. Data Gnome, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Alright, so we've moved this stuff. Um, we've moved bioelectric data. Fantastic. There's only four left. Does that mean our train is making one more trip? Should do. Oh, there it is. And... It's going to end up stopping upstairs, right? When it's finished. Like... Like these ones. Cool, cool, cool. So we can see pretty easily which ones have been finished. Uh, we need to do bio one, two, three. And I think that's it. Except for the scrap. Alright. Let's do them in order, just so it's easier to remember. Where the heck is Bio 1? Oh, there you are. <laughs> we used to need so many more trains. Okay. Uh, you can go over here. Empty. Up the elevator. Catalog. Bio catalog one. There it is. Provider. Inactivity and item. And then down the elevator. Oh, that should probably just about do it. Except that this is the wrong... No, 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 stop. Stop. Halt. Uh, that's the wrong station name. Did I name this one yet? Nope. Scrap Bio 123. Scrap Bio Catalog 1. Two and three. And I'm going to need a break shortly. Uh, that's going to be our channel name. I'm pretty sure we've done the other three. Yep. Fantastic. All right, so you should be dropping off over here. Down the elevator, empty, go. And we need to turn off the requests from LTN upstairs uh, for bio catalogs one through three. Cool, cool, cool. If X inventory is greater, indeed. And keep seeming to just sort of full inventory, got them bring up three different materials. Wait, what's the question? I've been meaning to ask, how do you have your schedule set on your trains bringing material up to orbit? Uh, well, this stuff what we're doing now is just moving things from the old system to the new system but what we do now is uh let's say for batteries for example we have we we make the batteries downstairs with our prod modules uh prod bonuses we have an ltn stop that requests batteries among other things and it's connected to a signal receiver, which knows how many batteries we've got upstairs. Uh, for these four different resources, we do the same thing. And we've got an LTN request to 
station right here, which drops immediately directly into a vanilla train schedule, uh, which takes whatever it's dropping off upstairs. Um, the moment that this is full. So then it goes upstairs and drops off over here. And that goes through some filtered uh, loaders to go into bulk rail loaders uh, that are then available to LTN upstairs. So this way we get a balance of like density, uh, a few things on one train schedule for the vanilla schedules, um, but also pretty decent speed as opposed to using bot loading for the trains. All right, uh, did we finish at Shattered Skies? We did. It's all done. Uh, let's see. Arcosphere Collector. Last hour. Consumption 500. Fantastic. How many Arcospheres did we get? 47. Oh yeah, you can see them... Uh, you can see them in the robot network here. 47 Arcospheres for 500 launches. So we're getting less than 10% now. It's fine. And then we just deconstruct all this. And we'll never come back to this surface again. Unless it's for Nacrotite. But more to the point, since we can't uh, fully automate getting Arcospheres from a surface that we've never been to, I think it's fine to just make some arbitrary big number of launches. What, is, what are you doing? Uh, and then we just do it all in one trip. What, what's your problem? Oh, do we need like a storage chest? Yeah. I don't think I have a way around that. Unless... Well, hold on. This is already... Ugh. So the bots over-deliver storage chests and then the construction bots have nowhere to put the... That's, that's annoying. Why can't the bots be precise? Why you gotta be this way? And they're gonna take this sweet time emptying that out. Come back to that. Hopefully not before it gets... Uh, hopefully before it gets hit by a meteor, though. Alright, I'm going to take a short break before triple F happens. Let's save real quick. And we'll do some words on stream. Six minutes? Okay, okay. Uh, we'll start the words in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Okay, how are we doing? Nicely done. Let's pause the words. Uh, and let me just fix up this train right before we do the triple F. Wait, I thought I... What? 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 Where did... Uh-oh. I'm confused. Was it... Was it Bio 3 or Bio 2 that I was fixing just now? Uh-oh. Well, Bio 1 is chillin', Bio 2 is here, and Bio 3 is here. Oh, I left this one on manual. Okay, cool. Uh, catalog... Catalog 3. There it is. Alright, wait for inactivity, wait for item... Greater than zero, cat three. And down the elevator. Alright, down the elevator, drop off, up the elevator, pick up. There we go. And... Same thing for this one. Except we're looking for catalog four. That's the wrong one, isn't it? Where? Is it not grouped up with these? Catalog 4. That's Catalog 3. What the hell? Is this one named different or something? Oh no, it's only Catalog 3. Wait, did I just... Did I just schedule that other train to... That was Catalog 3. And I just made it, it had catalog two, it dropped off three. That, that's fine, we just need to do two. Okay, fine. We'll treat the old catalog three train like it's catalog two. Dup. Okay. This one? Is that two? It looks like two. Inactivity, item count, add a two. Go forth. Alright, that should probably get all of that sorted out. Let's have a look at the triple F. Assuming that it is up to date now. Friday Facts 379 posted today. Fantastic. Can you close the prediction? No wins. Uh, okie dokie. Prediction. Uh, choose outcome. No. Fantastic. All right. Where's the Chrome button? Uh, let me guess. I need to find a different Chrome. There we go. And can I not fit that to the screen? Fantastic. Nope. Transform. There we go. Okay, what do we got? Abstract rewiring. Okay, I don't want to get too excited. I don't want to get my hopes up too much. What do we got? Let me show you around. That's our lab table and this is our work stool. And over there is our interplanetary space platform. Uh, okay. Electric pole improvements. More of a technical journey, a peek behind the scenes of what we have to consider when adding features. Manual ghost wires. What does that mean? Traces of the first implementation of copper wires can be seen in... Factoria versions as old as 0.21. Copper connections between electric poles were just a targeter pointing at another electric pole saying, I am connected to this electric pole. I can see where that would get out of hand for UPS pretty quickly. After a certain scale. To be more precise, each electric pole had... Exactly five of those targeters. 
and a static vector is more optional than a dynamic one. Wouldn't wouldn't it be better to like only think about that when you're changing what they're connected to, and then they're all just on electric network X? That's probably what they ended up doing, right? Something like that. When an electric pole would be destroyed, all copper wires to other electric poles had to be disconnected because we can't pretend that the entity hidden in the entity ghost shell is still connected to the network. Do you be able to have a wire connection in blueprints? We had to add a special one-sided connection from ghost to real entity. Okay. Looked like a nice solution in the beginning because we glued new possibility to the ghost. But in reality, the solution already started to smell. Special cases were starting to pile up. When an electric pole is destroyed, you need to check if Ghost is not pointing to it and update its connection to the connecting new Ghost instead. When an electric pole is revived, you also need to update corresponding neighbor Ghosts. When Blueprint is being made, wires for the Blueprint need to be collected from entities and Ghosts. If any logic which needed to check if two things are connected regardless of ghost or real connection. This is a mouthful. Need to check all the possible ways the connection could exist. And this is just the start. We also have power switches. So the amount of places where the connections are stored and the combination in which they can interact was a programming nightmare. Okay. Make it possible to add wires to ghost poles manually. The day uh, after a day of not being able to reliably tell which functions to call, <laughs> just to add a ghost wire, I decided the amount of technical debt was just too much. Indeed. That is the what's the what's the most succinct way to describe technical debt? Having to dig yourself deeper and deeper and deeper to keep using the same stuff you've already built. Started to be obvious that the original rule not worth the complications. Okay, so what 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 did we do instead? Since everything could connect the same way, real in Ghost power switch, we could encapsulate all the related connection logic to a single wire connector class. Make everything stupidly simple compared to how it was. Oh. Oh, I like what I see there. With all the changes set up like a setup like this is no longer deemed impossible. There are also some interactions that could be improved even a little bit. When dragging electric pole with circuit wires, it'll drag those as well. That's beautiful. Okay, when are we getting blue wire? Circuit rewiring logic could simply be done the same way as normal rewiring. And finally, after two weeks of refactoring, sat down and finished the original task. It took just a few minutes. Nice. Speaking of wires, we noticed a few oddities in how the game was drawing them. Like what? Once I saw these problems, I couldn't unsee them. Why is connecting two short entities over a long distance, such as inserters or chests, were sagging way lower than they should? Okay. And what's with those shadows? 
Okay. So this is just cosmetic. Uh, to better communicate a wire's position. Circuit wires strung between two short entities now only sag until they would touch the ground. Fair enough. This is literally just the shadow. Shadows now sag towards the sun. Okay, fantastic. Long distance connections between combinators should be more readable at a glance. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, no, definitely. I can see where in particular some of the more compact and messy combinator builds are going to be more readable just by tightening up the wires a bit. Once you see the improvement, it's hard to go back. Well, I definitely like it on the combinators anyway. Abstract items. Most items in Factorio are nice and normal. Use them as ingredients. Use them to build machines and walls, some of them. You even eat to recover your health. It's simple and makes sense, but over time, some new features were introduced that had some unique and specific actions. Uh, okay. So these are like things that don't really fit into the set of items that we already had. These were real items that you needed to use to craft, took up inventory space, you lost them when you died, etc. Yeah, blueprints being physical items was a bit annoying. You might be a little surprised to learn that when blueprints were first added, you had to craft them with an advanced circuit. Yes, I remember this. And to erase them cost an electronic circuit. That I had forgotten. Over time, we came to decide that uh, having everything as real items was not always the best gameplay-wise. Weird bricks and... Oh, tricks and remote interactions. Blueprints were the major one, but left the rest of the types of items in a strange place. The strangest and most annoying was red and green wires. Are they going to make it so that you don't need the Navsat trick to have wire connections, like, remotely? That'd be nice. It took good, hard, well-earned... Hard, well-earned copper and iron to craft them. But if you unwire something, you got nothing back. Additionally, if you use a blueprint, the red and green wires were free. The aspect of remote interaction also started to become strange. You cannot red wire something from the map, but you could take a blueprint of it, wire it normally, uh, locally, and then place it. Yes. In the end, we took the path that made a lot of sense, which is to turn all of these into abstract items you can spawn for free. Nice. The abstract items work from any distance. Also applies to copper cable. There is the real copper cable used for recipes and the abstract one used to connect electric poles. The new abstract items naturally tie into the shortcut bar which is being used to its full potential. Very good. Oh, and that's actually the end. So... no blue wire? Sad. Uh, I like that they cleaned up the... Uh... I, I, I like what they're doing here. They, they probably could have used a more egregious... Uh... Combinator spaghetti screenshot to illustrate this. Um, 
Because, yeah, I can see it being way more readable if you've got a lot of combinators. New triple F, yes indeed. Zaiden, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. These changes also improve the ability to do th things remotely. Remote interactions will be a focus on the next triple F. Indeed. Morpheus, welcome in. I was frantically searching for the source of the Windows bleep sound every now and then until I realized it was coming from the stream. What Windows bleep sound? What do you mean? You, you, you don't mean... Uh, where is it? I think it's this one. You don't mean the new objective sound, right? RV Park, welcome in. That one, okay. Uh, where were we? I, th I think we pretty much finished here. Blue wires someday. I do like this though. And the tightened up wires. Alright. Back to the game. That's also used in some Windows pop-up notification thingy. I've never heard it outside of Factorio. Um, did I filter all these? Yeah, I did. Oh, did we move all of these? Yeah. I think we've got, like... Actually... Just... Nothing. I think we finished moving all of this now. Except for the scrap. Yeah, here we go. All of our trains are sitting idle. Cool, cool, cool. And this should be mostly empty of scrap. Like, there's one train load left. Alright, let's go back upstairs. Mining prod 15 is getting close to done. I started my SE over with a friend and threw nearly all the mods to make it as complicated as possible. Oh no. Don't scare him away. Alright, let's go. So is science moving right now? Uh, I think it is. Yeah, we don't have the... We don't have the science's balked alarm. I have great first four hours, and it felt very natural to progress. Nice. Womp, 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 womp. So let's see... Deep Space Science Pack 3 consumption has been solid for 10 minutes. It's probably just that we got a train load delivered. I, I don't imagine... What? Oh, wait, no. I was going to say, we didn't bring our ship back yet. I don't know why Arcosphere is doing so much better for the moment. So then we're going to send this back to Moon Orbit 1180. Hagen Orbit. Uh, right after it goes to Phonestra. Cool, cool, cool. Missed a spot. Drones not going burr, just burr? Wait, what? Don't question the Arcosphere? What do you mean? Oh, right. 
the mysterious, the way it's mysteriously working much faster right now. Maybe it's because... I, I don't know. I was going to say maybe it's because we were running some other recipe. Like if we were running uh, Singularity Tech cards at the same time, then it would mean we're spitting out a bunch of Zetas, which would mean uh, uh, Tesseracts would go faster. I guess. How many Deep Space 3s do we need? Because we're trying to make, uh... Oh. That's weird. We're not actually consuming Singularity Tech cards right now, but I saw them being delivered up here. And, the, and there's only like 15 stacks. I thought I saw them being delivered. Maybe it was something else. Yeah, we're not consuming them, but why then is it not saturated? I think, uh, do we have a prioritization for Deep Space 3? It's Deep Space 2. Oh, wait, what? Wait, 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 what? Why are you picking up 72 Deep Space 2? Three. What? This provides. Oh, provide threshold. Provide stack threshold. Fifty. Okay. Um. But anyway. Provide stack threshold fifty. Did I do the same thing over here? I did. That was a mistake. What about this one? That's supposed to be provide stack threshold. Okay. Anyway. Um, are we like priority dropping off Deep Space 3 up here? Where's the drop off for it? It must be up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is normal priority. 1.1k. Oh no, 11k. As in, yeah, 1.1 1 .1 short train loads. Does this have higher priority? It does. That's fine. Well, that means this is going to stop before it reaches 100%. Because we're going to wait till we have a... An actual train load of deep threes. Um, but yeah, more to the point. Uh, 3.5 per second. How much does this consume to make three per second? Oh, this is actually really slow. I forgot about this. Well, it's only going to consume 0 0.2 per second, but yeah, we're definitely gonna need a bigger build for singularity tech cards uh if we want well hold on a s okay this is kind of a cop-out but no there is infinite research that consumes the singularity tech cards so it doesn't matter um yeah i want every uh tech card or science pack to be able to go three per second continuously for whatever research so this is one to one, apparently. Um, 0.2778 per second. 0.208 per second. Okay, so we need to be able to do like probably five per second deep space threes. Uh, if there's a research that consumes Deep Space 3 or 4 and Advanced... Uh, sorry, Singularity Tech cards. Which there is. Alright. What's next? 
Oh yeah, we had more spaceships to add. I think this one's 48. Four egg hauler, 48. Taking our sweet time adding these things. At least it means they're fully fueled. Which means less logistics to take antimatter downstairs. What is 47 up to? It's just sitting there. You're kidding. Wait, what's its destination? Hagen? Is this switched on? It is. Oh, that goes to the memory cell. Oh, okay. Um, go. Oh. Oops. 48, Destination Hagen, yeah I don't think we actually sent the Hagen signal directly to the console, uh, and we just need it, it, it's waiting its turn already, but we just need it to land in one of these, and it'll get given a job. There's actually nothing on the memory... S oh, there it goes. I was going to say Central doesn't have a job right now. But it do. Okay. 47 is on its way to... Outpost number 20. Uh, Spirit, sorry. And 48. Uh, well, that's definitely Sage. Fantastic. Uh, and I think we'll go up to 50. And we'll let it run for a while before we decide if we need more. Yeah, right here. That signal should have been on. So that we we'll automatically send them to Hagen. Alright. Program the memory cell. Fantastic. Destination is already Hagen. Good, good, good. And we'll just wait for... Why don't I just put a decider here? Um, green wire. Is that going to reach? Wait, no, we put it up here. Green wire measures the antimatter. Yes, cool. Just do it like this. Uh, if antimatter greater than... I don't know. 50, 100, 200... 180,000. Output launch. And that'll sort it out. Oh, and we need to name this one Port Egg Hauler 49. Fantastic. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so once it's pretty much fully fueled, it'll auto launch. 
And then we'll add just one more for around 50. 20 egg haulers to go? No. I, I, I honestly hope we don't need that many. Okay. Now where were we putting this stuff over? Uh, I think we've done it all except for the scrap, yeah. So we can finally move this? That's, what, that's right, that's why I bodily came up here. Alright, let's go pick up this scrap. And I'll just drop it into the new system. I wonder how quickly we're making the Deep Space 3 right now. Relatively quickly, that was another 800 or so, or almost 800 since we last looked at it. Cool, cool, cool. Is that not going to fill up? It is not. Oh, wow. Just a little bit less than a train load remaining here. Actually, there might be a little bit left in this uh, loader. In the invisible inserters. Alright, so that right there is a scrap drop-off, right? Yes, it is. Um, there isn't room on this side is what I'm realizing. I also completely forgot about how I was going to use the deep space belts to speed this whole process up. Shack Cat, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. All right, that'll help. And get this nasty scrap. Uh, this nasty scrap. Ah, out of my inventory. I almost panicked there. All right, that's much faster. Okay, uh, what was I doing? Right, I was emptying this out so that we could put it over to the new block. Got plenty of empty inventory here. Um, how many of these trains do we need? I haven't actually given any of them the new schedule yet, so we need four. Well... I guess I'll just park them downstairs. Yeah, they've already got the already got the drop off in the schedule. It's actually easier than I realized it would be. So that goes there. Goes there. And we'll fill in the rest of the schedules later. Uh, and these four can just be retired for now. And yes, there were a few pieces of scrap left over, as expected. All 
right. A couple more down here. just about ready. Is the construction train in range? It is. That's going to be a problem, but I want it to come back quite soon. So just go over here, please. Fantastic. All right, robots, if you please. Uh, I hope my inventory's not going to be too full. No, I think we're good. Oh, and we should check in on the Arco. Alright, cool. Time to go back. Uh, via Foenestra. And Shattered Skies is Dunsky. 88 of Foenestra is going to be like 7... Well, not Foenestra, but the destination on the other side should be like 7 minutes-ish. Uh, and then we'll have another 47 Arcospheres. It takes 4 to actually do anything with them, right? 47, 48, 49. Uh, so 12, right? Yeah. We'll have... Well, we'll have 48 Arcospheres. 12 recipes. And one remainder. How many Arcos have we made all time? Uh, I guess we can check over this way, right? Acrospheres. Forty, 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 forty-two. Uh, two hundred and forty-two plus two thirty-one. Is that it? Uh, four hundred and thirty-seven. Maybe this would have been easier. Arcospheres all-time consumption. Or 24? Uh, that makes sense. Yeah, there's like this many. There's the most, uh, almost exactly the difference between these on the way back. Yeah, we've produced 473. Uh, cool, cool, cool. In before Valdak links the total Arcosphere collection, I'm scared. All right, uh, we need, not that one, for the first time, downward bound, oh, I need plating, oops, we need the blueprint for the Huh. What? How did... That's weird. Um... I'm gonna go back to the mall and fix that first. Actually, I'd much rather... Recycle what I'm holding onto here. Is that actually gonna be in the way of this train, though? I don't think so. Yeah, I think the trains can work around this mess. What are you doing? Oh, you had been bringing concrete. Wait, is this a traffic jam? 
It shouldn't be, but this train's trying to go through this one. Okay. So I do need to go back to the mall to fix this. Unless... Um... Unless... What if this signal was forbidden? There we go. Puzzle solved. Train wasn't allowed to go this way. So it decided to go this way instead. Okay. So plating train is on the way. And once we finish this build, we'll go back and sort this train out. I think we're retiring this train anyway. But I'd rather... I think I have to manually uh, unload the locomotive. There's our plating. And we can finally place our blueprint properly. I do hope not needing a mod to to not have to wait for that is going to be a vanilla update at some point. All right, we need some uh, some transmitters or receiver dishes rather. And that's actually it. I forgot how easy this was going to be to build. Alright, let's move these tags. Uh, so which was which? Also, do we even need this? We do not. Cool, cool, cool. That kind of looks better. Top left is scrap and all three bio catalogs. Bio catalog one, two, three. Cool. This needs to be set to the appropriate channel name. And we want to Copy this into here. Fantastic. And same goes for the vanilla station. I almost expected a good talk there. I mean, it was a good talk. It was a TED talk that I'm thankful that you attended. These are all stack size 50, right? We can crank those up, but... Uh, but the main thing is to just get it functional first. Alright, so you... Oh wait, we already sent that one down, didn't we? Hold on, where is it? Where did I leave that train? The other three are parked here, but this one... has a duplicate drop... Wait, what? Where's the one with the uh, green catalogs? I, I'm very confused. You're still here? I... I guess? O okay, fine. Um... I'll just borrow you. So your job is to go here... Uh, wait till full. Which depot are we using? 
think it's this one, right? Where's one of the trains with those schedules? Yeah, vanilla depot, dep uh, vanilla to stop depot two. Vanilla stop depot two. Okay, wait for inactivity. Uh, so up the elevator, pick up, uh, go to depot first in case we add another train with this schedule. Um, down the elevator, depot, inactivity one second, and catalog. Esther. Right. Up, depot, pick up, down, depot, drop off. Full, empty. That should be it. Double check that it's got batteries and stuff. Fantastic. Alright, put you on... Well, I guess you can leave this one on automatic. Uh, we need three more trains to mimic the same schedules. Uh, so bottom left was material one and two. Bottom right was material three and four. And top left had energy. Fantastic. Uh, now we just need to do the station names. I'll do the LTN requests last. goes over here. And last but not least, material 3, 4, quantum scrap. Okay. So, would you... Do me a little favor and come over here. Wait, that should be full. Whatever, we're about to change it anyway. Over here, please. And over here, please. Wait, I think I sent one of those to the wrong spot. I did. It's fine. And what's your deal? Just passing through. Did we signal this wrong? No. There's no signals down here. It was waiting for this one to drop off. Let's go fix that. There we go. Wait, does that mean we've got the same mistake three times? It do. Let's go fix that. Very confused. Dude, where's my tra uh, train? Indeed. There we go. Uh, now why don't we have a train sitting here? And why are you still that... What? You're still waiting your turn to move through here? Really? Bruh. 
That's rude. Now why don't we have a train sitting in here? I have a feeling there's something off about the signals in this place. You're just trying to come through this way, and you're still wait. Oh, I, I, I think I see the problem. There we go. All right, so put these other ones on manual so they don't run away immediately. And we're just going to copy this schedule across. And then edit it a little bit. This is Material Catalog 1 2. Grondag the Barbarian. Thank you very much for the three months of the Prime. Much appreciated. And welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you here again. Uh, why does, oh right, one of those is LTN, yeah, 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 can't remember my own design, all right, requester goes here, wait till empty, provider goes here, wait till full, and... Seems good. Next. Try not to get hit. Uh, what's this one? Energy 1 and 2. Wait till full. Wait till empty. And that's it. And last but not least is uh, material three and four. Material three and four. Wait till full, wait till empty. Cool, cool, cool. We already set the channels downstairs, right? I'm pretty sure, yeah, because we just selected the uh, existing channels already upstairs. Gonna need to clear these three out. Not sure where the fourth one went. Oh, I guess it's here. Uh, and then we just do the LTN requests. Right, so that's going to be whoa, scrap. Uh, what's this one called again? Material one, two, and bioelectric data. Material two. Bio Lech. Cool. I think we can turn those on now. And we'll probably start seeing some scrap delivered there. Actually, I think the scrap requester over here is super high priority. No? Oh, that's right. This is like a scrap requester of last resort because there's one entire build. Uh, we ended up adding a copious storage here because there's one entire build where scrap goes directly into science. Uh, and we want that filled up first. Did think about having like some of this scrap accessible to go downstairs or something, but like there's no there's no need. Uh, okay. And here comes Scrap, as predicted. Cool, cool, cool. Um, 
Oh. Minor detail. Uh, is the plating train still here? It is. Yeah, mi minor detail that we almost missed. We, we do need to actually... belt the items from one train to the other. That might be a good idea. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, we've got something in place so the next train doesn't come in until that's removed. Uh, Alright, deep space loader. From unloader to loader. Like soda. And we should have more than enough. Uh, we do not have more than enough. Good talk. Let's do another lap. Revan, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. And Ian Nua, by the way. Um, I think this, I think this bit of floor looks a bit weird. Yeah, let's just fill that in. Alright, I think I'll just ride the scaffolding train back. Oh. Is that everything? I didn't realize I had that on me. Uh, yep, that's everything. Cool, ride this back to the mall and we'll fix the... Uh, that one messed up train. Which apparently is blocking everything somehow. What? What seems to be the problem? Oh, you're trying to leave through this guy as well. Not if we remove this. Actually, apparently that didn't help. I thought that would make it path back this way, but it didn't work this time. Okay. We're just going to decon the old train. And that should be enough to get everything moving again. Cool. We should also... Oh, we already did. Core egg hauler. I believe we're up to 49... Yes, let's do number 50. Uh, where is it? Bow and Astro Bounce, Core Egg Hauler. I have no idea what's going on, but I enjoy your voice. Thank you. True Egon, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so this is hauler number 50, and hopefully... I, mean, I doubt it, but hopefully the last one we need. Of these relatively small hauler ships. Hauler egg hauler 50. Played around last time with... Uh, with some novel ship ideas. Uh, tried to do a really small shield generator, um, fluid isothermic generator, antimatter ship, and realized all over again just how, just how tight this design is. It just barely works. Really quite happy with it. Um, but yeah, what's your destination? Hagen. 
And we pulsed that onto the memory cell. Right. Um, and it should auto launch once we have antimatter. Seems good. Not to mention that I never played even base Factorio. Uh, I, 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 I'm guessing you're a little bit interested in it then. You're here. Have you ever thought uh, we could see a SW Kotor stream? Wait, what? Yes. Knights of the Old Republic? I've never actually played it. That's one I missed out on. We're still getting the occasional mysterious uh, train supposedly out of fuel signal from Hagen Orbit that sorts itself out somehow. And I guess we'll be stuck with it for the rest of the playthrough. We can decon this now. Um, do you have much room? Yeah, there's no reason to, there's no need to empty this train. Let's just bring it over here. There is a free demo, yes. Yeah, the, uh, I can't say I'm impressed with the price go up and only up philosophy. Uh, but at least they do the demo. And, and you, you can get a good few hours out of the demo. You, it's more than enough to know if if you're going to like Factorio. How much do we have here? Only 68,000. It's going to take a while before this reaches the target antimatter. I could just send it now, but it's fine. Um, and I need to get these trains out of the way, don't I? I guess let's go downstairs. Where did I leave this thing? Uh-oh. Wait, what? Um... The Malta Mall train seems to have disappeared. Appeared. Did I accidentally conscript it to do something else? Is, is that what's happening here? Also, how are you not full? Oh. Really? But we copy-pasted it from here. What What was that about? What? What? Oh, you're trying to leave. Why can't you leave? Why are you not able to leave now? It's not like a signaling error or something, is it? Doesn't seem that way. Another train is supposedly out of fuel. How does this keep happening? That's weird, isn't it? Wait, are you an LTN train? No. Okay, uh, I, I have no idea where the, where the mole taxi went. It, it's not upstairs, it's not downstairs. I, I think we accidentally conscripted it to do something else. Did those arcospheres come back yet? They did, why are they still here? 47. Oh, don't tell me. 
Uh, we don't have anything automated to take the Arcospheres away at this point. Not unless we have 150 stacks of them. Um, we can sort that out a bit later. Rip mole train, right? Yeah, I think I must have accidentally given it a different schedule or something, because because we should be able to find it by clicking here, upstairs or downstairs. I mean, I guess I'll just just grab another one. We've got plenty of. Uh, Plenty of ret uh, plenty of trains losing their jobs these days. I just need to remember how I scheduled this. Uh, so Hagen up, old taxi, Hagen down, mall taxi. It wasn't as simple as that. Oh, there was like a green signal. Circuit condition. Green. I think greater than zero. So when I stand here, the gate opens. Uh, this does a green signal. And when I enter the train, it happens in one tick. And the green signal persists for at least one tick uh, to go to the train. So the train will get... Green signal is true and there's a passenger. Just briefly. Uh... Green, here we go. I feel like there was something else to it though. I guess I could be wrong. Now why are no trains moving over here still? What's the problem? Oh, a train that's out of fuel has right of way. I think that's what's happening. Okay, I'm just going to fly over there. I said I'm just going to fly over there. There we go. That is a big ship. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just the train that has no fuel has right of way. And they'll never say, oh... He ain't going anywhere. Oh, and I think it'll keep flashing out of fuel as long as it can't... Oh my goodness. Oh, no, no, just... Would you... It's going to happen again. If it can't output the uh, fuel. The used up fuel. Then it'll say it's out of fuel. Whitelist discharged. Here it comes. There we go. At least there's room. Alright. And now all of these trains are getting to be in motion. Sorting themselves out. Fantastic. Cool, cool, cool. So there should be scrap appearing... 
Oh, right, these guys are still in the way. Alright, back to... actually, I'll just go down the elevator myself. Back to the mall, or thereabouts. All new ways to mess up your signals? Oh, the, uh, the overheads? Yeah. Alright, you guys can retire. Whoa. Why you gotta be this way? That's all there is to it, right? Yeah. There's the scrap. Wait, did I... No, we're good. It's the power packs I'm picking up. Alright. One more. Or two more, because I think there's another train trying to stop at this same spot. These are open for business now. Now, I don't think we've got uh, LTN... Oh, we do. We do have LTN delivering to scrap processing. I think it's probably time to do an updated build. Let's do that. So we're going to shape this for tier 9 modules. It's going to be the final build for scrap processing. Come to think of it... Oh wait, no, never mind. I forgot for a split second that we have to use recycling facilities. I was thinking of using bigger machines. Scrap. Goes into Matter Science Pack 1 and 2, Delivery Cannon, turns into Iron and Stuff, or Landfill. Okay, uh, and the only way to do that is Recycling Facility, right? Yes. Recycle. Tier 9 speeds. Actually, I'll just double check, even though we know the answer. Can't use prods for that. And we use a wide beacon too, with as many speeds and a few efficiencies. Plus 2800% power, 1400, 700, 103 kilowatts. That's, wait, exactly 100%? Really? So it is. Wasn't expecting that, uh, but that's fine. Certainly not going to worry about saving another 80 kilowatts or whatever. Crafting speed, 11. As opposed to... If we go all out on speed. Crafting speed, 15. For 5.7 megawatt. Yeah. Um... So how fast is one machine? It's super slow. Don't tell me our existing build is already, like... ...shaped for the end game. Uh, how many machines? Twelve on each side.
and that's, I'm guessing, about as much as we can reasonably fit. I haven't quite made the... Uh, wait, 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 I was thinking of bigger machines, I think. Actually, I don't know. I don't know if we can fit this. Well, anyway, how fast is this? That is still... Consumes 132 scrap per second. Outputs... 39.6. Uh, 0.6 plus 6.6. Uh, slightly more than a blue belt. So this whole thing, if we somehow fit it... Outputs slightly more than a purple belt. Wait, no, that's not right. Yeah, no, it is right. Much more input, though. And negligible heavy oil. Hmm. So this is just about the only uh, tier 9 build where we're still trying to cram in as many machines in one place as possible. Well, maybe not as much, because this consumes more than five stacks per second, and the trains have to keep up with that. Uh, so maybe we don't care as much about squishing it all into one spot. So... What if we just start with... Let me just see how our existing build measures up. Maybe I already balanced this for tier 9 modules. And it just needs purple belt or something. Oops. I'm worry about the liquid later. All right, so what are we looking at again? Less than two purple belts in. And I think it was slightly more than a blue belt out, right? 13, 13, 13, and 6. Yeah, it's way less than 70 in any case. Uh, 90. Can we do better? I don't know that we can. All of this feels so much over my understanding level, especially now when my brain is running in low gear. Uh, well, we're basically just shoving scrap into some recyclers and some useful things come out and we're trying to do it faster and better but I think uh, I think this version might actually be all we ever need except that we'll like give it purple belts feels weird because we've got all these other builds where we used to have something like this with like 48 3 by 3 machines on one side of the block uh, and then we're like okay this is kind of an exception but in, in a lot of cases we're like nah this is all we ever need for the end game 3 machines or even 1 machine sometimes So how fast are we having to bring trains to support this? 132 per second is uh, less than 3 stacks per second. Wait, this stacks to 50, right? Yeah. So 5k... 
over 132 is a train every 37 and a bit seconds. That's a bit fast already. Uh, we could maybe build a version of it designed to take the scrap from here directly. I could just remove these train stops entirely. Uh, one minute. Come to think of it, I only took one break today. I know I started a bit late, but still. Uh, might need another one shortly. What was I trying to figure out? Oh yeah. Okay, um... I wonder how much... Sc oh my god. I didn't want to do the whole factory planner thing where we, like, try and plan for the entire factory, but, like, what would be a pretty severe throughput of scrap? 255 per second. Uh, how much is this? About 50. This is more like 200-ish. Plus 20, plus 20-ish, mm, 40, pull it 250, so our target is like 3 per second for each data card. Contaminated scrap, does contaminated scrap get turned into scrap 1 to 1? It does. So we can just con count contaminated scrap as scrap. So like plus another 40 there. 100 maybe. Okay. We know material science is the majority of our scrap throughput. I'm thinking if we can deal with like four or five hundred scrap per second. Uh, that's probably fine for, like, the whole playthrough. And... That would mean two blocks like this. And we'll just put them right next door to... This thing. And we'll customize it a bit and just not have trains pick up the scrap from here. Um, we'll just take it straight from... Straight from here. So in that case, uh, we're not going to need a train drop-off. Scrap's going to be coming from here and here. It's going to be something like this. Well, let me see, first of all. I could literally just filter it straight from here. Maybe that's the way to go. Where would this fit? Something like this. Uh, it should probably... I think I did copy it from the scrap filter. Yeah. And so that would go there. And 
and we could just get rid of this train stop entirely. And then we've got a nice, easy input to work with from here. Alright. Well, well, we'll rethink the train stops when we see what kind of shape we end up with here. Actually... No, we do have to have the containers here so that the transmitter can speak sense as to whether or not we should be dropping off scrap. I mean, the scrap's always going to get consumed, though, but still. We'd like to at least, like, balance it across these. I don't really want to run wire into the next, uh, the next block to deal with that. Which means uh, we should probably do this like coming from here or something. And then we've run into some problems. I don't really want to do th this. That would be a bit asymmetrical. That's not too bad, right? Yeah, that, that should be okay. Can we maybe... put this over here? Something kind of like that. Except we won't actually have rail here. Okay. Uh, I should take a break now or there's not going to be one. Alright, words on stream, it's going to start in about 30 seconds, I'll be back in a few minutes, good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Okay. Smashing. Oh, wrong button. There we go. Alright, let's try and smash out a scrap build. Um, how many outputs does this have? Iron, copper, stone, rare metals, and heavy oil. Uh, we can just do the oil pickup where we pick up the rare metals because it's a lot slower. And we're going right to left here. Um... I guess... I mean, it's going to end up being pretty similar to our last build, more or less. Except the outputs are going to be sideways. Does this not accept prod modules? It does not. Or do we just not care about the tiny bit more? No, it, it, it won't accept prod modules. For scrap processing. Alright, so pick up, pick up, pick up, and pick up. And I don't really think we need to like merge and split separate inputs for these. And we don't have to not use up this space either. It can be a bit unconventional. So maybe... Look, how many can we fit in a row like this? Um, too many. Hmm. I could do it a little bit like this. I was thinking we could have like... Well, actually... Actually, I'm hurting myself in my confusion. What if we did horizontal rows? Somewhere like here. And this goes like... Like that. It's probably gonna end up looking very similar to the old build, just kind of moved around and stuff. Oh yeah, the individual machines... They take in like the same... Wait, three, four times three. Uh, plus... Point one seven. There's one point one nine. So there's a lot less output than input. The output really doesn't have to look this uh, imposing. Could probably fit another row above and below within one beacon if you wanted. Uh, yeah, maybe. There's, there is a disincentive to squeezing in too much in one place. Uh, that being, like, this demands uh, 1.6 stacks per second, uh, sorry, 2.6 stacks per second of scrap. So it's going to take, uh, 37.88 seconds to drain a whole train load. And go too fast and you're going to have trouble 
you're going to have traffic problems with the trains, basically. So it's not actually all that worth. How much input is this? Uh, comfortably less than two purple bells. That's loud. Okay, so what if... What if for the input we do it like this? For example... Uh, and then I realize... I, I guess it could be something like this? That's kind of weird. I don't hate it though. Do we want to do the fluid on the inside or the outside? Probably the outside. Something like that. That looks weird. That actually looks pretty weird. These splitters are unnecessary. feels really odd. Maybe it's just because it looks different sideways. I mean, I could use inserters, but they have to pick up 11 per second. Inserters are kind of weird, picking up from fast belts though. Uh, what if it just looked like... No, that, that's weird too. It, it's gonna be kinda strange no matter what I do. Or we could just not have it this cramped. Surely we could fit a couple more tiles here. And just do something kind of like this. Come to think of it, if the output's in the middle and the output is slower, we have to merge and split anyway. That's probably going to work out better. We did the output on the outside last time as well. Oh, out, out, output on the inside for the solids. I'm going to end up making the exact same shape again. It was like this. Uh, this does need less than one belt, right? Yes. Okay, cool. And why don't we run this through a splitter? That fits pretty cozily. Or it could be over here even. Actually, how far back can it be? If we're going to do this... I just want that as a guide. Oh, 
Oh, well, that's easy. All right, so same, same, but different. And that can go over there. Um, don't trust MS quality from repeating experience. Don't trust auto saves. Uh, we can probably move these together a bit. Is there any need to? How much output do we have? Less than one purple belt, right? Yeah, it's barely more than a blue belt. Uh, and we need to filter the outputs. Can't flip these, can I? No, that's annoying. Alright. Uh, just delete that. And cut. Flip. And realize that we can't put that there right now. Okay. Oops. So this goes here, perhaps? What? Confusion. And then that goes there. And I'm probably going to end up... Uh, I think instead of this belt mess, we could probably just have like two containers. It'll look a bit neater. So like... Oh, that doesn't quite line up. Hmm... Oh, it's going to end up being like the core fragment build, and like this, where we've got filtered, where's one that's operational right now, uh, where, we've, where we've got filtered loaders swapping items between these two. Yeah, kind of like this, only we don't have to try so hard to make everything fit. It's going to be a lot like that, actually. Okay. But we only have to deal with four solid outputs. I think I'd like to move these in a little bit. Just like that. And just like that. Uh, and I don't think we even need like splitters to merge these for the outputs, right? It should be okay to simply belt like this, even if it looks a little bit tacky. I 
I guess it's fine. Four by four chest. Okay, can we line this up so that... This goes in here. These can swap items. Uh, two solids in one direction, two solids in the other direction. Oops. And it looks like, yeah, output, 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 output. And we can just do the push to front thing. Just like that. Might be better if these are... No, it's fine. I don't know. Maybe they should not be undergrounds just so we can see what's happening better. Welcome in, West Dude. The streamer can't play for realsies and has to use editor mode? Yeah, dirty cheaters. I kind of like the symmetry of that, that's not too bad. Uh, we should probably put in some test inputs. And start adding filters. Over here. Uh, so, it's iron, copper, stone, and rare metals, right? I guess... Let's put rare metals up here. Gotta put it somewhere. And we'll put the heavy oil there as well. And we could probably do heavy oil like this. It's pretty clean. Uh, and then we need some filters, rare metals, uh, iron. Copper and stone. So iron. Wait, wait, wait. Copper and stone go down this way, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that should be fine. Copper, stone. Why is this facing the wrong way? Uh, rare metals. Raw rare metals. And iron. Iron, rare metals, copper, stone. Alright, let's see if that's all set up properly. And over this side as well, please. Uh, 
Oh yeah, and we want to limit the front to like 50 stacks or less. And this will be a high priority pickup for LTN because we need to get rid of basically all of these are byproducts and if scrap stops uh, a whole lot of other things stop upstairs now why are we not getting anything down here there we go it looks pretty neat And we'll just make a right-to-left version of it. But, I mean, I could just, like, rotate it, but I kind of want the north-to-south rare metals to stone. Uh, but yeah, it looks like belts aren't a problem. It's pretty tidy. And I like that these line up so that they can just direct belt to the uh, bulk rail loaders. I guess I could move this down one, this up one, whatever. No, this is fine. Alright, seems good. Uh, shall we build this downstairs? Right about here. And we'll need some, we'll need some floor. Very important that it looks nice. All right. Uh, and then we'll need to basically mirror it over here. I can just do that off stream. It's about time to finish up anyway. Who are we raiding today? Factorio. Haven't dropped in a mucky for a minute. Right? Oof. We keep raiding the same people because there's always like two people streaming SE. Have a great day. You too. Ian Noah, thanks for dropping by. And Veldak, Westy. Everyone else, including you lovely likers. Mr. Jink, Buds. Dardano. Owen. Thank you all for dropping by today. Uh, yeah, let's read. Is bot dead? I don't see bot replies. Uh, I don't know. I'll double check it tomorrow, anyway. Before you go, any chance for an updated blueprint book in Discord? Uh, sure, I'll do that soon. Take care, Cest. Uh, and we need construction train. Alright, uh, that's as good a place as any to save it. I, I kind of like saving it here so I don't so I know what I'm doing as soon as I open this up again. Uh, but yeah, thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of Blueprints if you're into that, if you have any questions or anything, by all means. And until next time, stay safe. I do the same thing. Too many times I get sidetracked coming into a save, yeah. It, it, it can be honestly kind of overwhelming when you have no idea what you should work on next. Alright, take care guys. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, hang on. Uh, T-Hex.